All right, welcome to Document Your Faith, um, week number 10. We are going to be talking today about um, using the prompt vessel. So in order to start my project, I'm going to cut my cardstock, this is just regular cardstock, in half, and I'm going to cut it in half because that is the size of my planner. All right, so let's go ahead and prep your base page uh, now, and then I'll be back and we'll talk about your prompt. Okay, so today's prompt is Vessel, and the reason is because we're looking at the story of Deborah in the Bible, which is found in Judges 4 and 5, and Deborah, as well as Jael, who's the other heroine in this story, allow themselves to be used by God, and so we are going to be looking at 2 Timothy 2, 20 and 21, that says, now in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, for some honorable use, some dishonorable, therefore anyone who cleanses himself from what is dishonorable, he'll be a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy, useful to the master of the house, ready for every good work. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use a vessel to represent this scripture. And I actually have some um, of the elements from our Deborah kit. Um, it's our Women of the Word Faithful kit uh, and from Sojo Academy. I will make sure there is a link in the um, video, but basically I'm going to be using this and then also I'm going to be creating a vessel, but I'm going to be doing something a little different. I've decided I'm going to do a vessel and I'm going to fill it with something. Now I'm going to use regular household stuff. You do not have to do anything fancy for this. If you have a transparency page, that would work great. I actually am just going to use a baggie for my vessel. <laughs> And then I happen to have this. This is something that's left over from um, a decoration thing I did. And I'm just going to use this. Even though it doesn't match perfectly. It doesn't match actually at all my colors. But that's okay. I'll pick out some of them and use it. Um, maybe some of the flat ones. If I had glitter, I could use glitter. If I had like little sequins would be great for this. Any kind of little element. I just didn't really have time to go searching. So I just found this and used it. So you could use anything for this tutorial. So what we need is we need a base vessel on our page. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I actually printed this out. And this is just a vessel. <laughs> it's just a vessel. And then I put my verse here too. I went ahead and typed my verse out and printed it out. Now I'm going to give you this as a download if you want to use it. You do not have to. You can draw a vessel. You can cut one out. You can do anything. So my thought was to draw myself a vessel. And I might actually still do that and just kind of copy this one as my example. And then uh, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put plastic over it and put little dealy bobbies in it, which I think is going to be kind of cute. Um, you could do, ex you could literally take this printout and make it your page for the week. That would be totally, totally fine to do. Um, but I am just going to add a little something extra. So why don't we do this? I should have printed it twice. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to, um, when I give you the handout, when I give you the free gift, I'm going to put it on there twice. That way you can have it and maybe I'll make one bigger too. Okay, I'm just talking out loud now, so you can ignore me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically copy what, what they have here. Um, and then, obviously not exactly, which is totally fine. So I'm going to take this as my, like, my base. Let's put little stripes on it because it's kind of cute with the stripes. Okay. Um, so this is my, my um, vessel to start with. And what I'm going to do with my vessel is I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to color it. All right, so this is just showing you that you don't have to have anything special. You don't have to have a printout. You don't have to have anything. You can just draw your own vessel. All right, so let's go ahead and let me just color this in real quick. All 
And I just want to take a moment to mention that the entire time I'm coloring, you guys are seeing it in fast motion, but it's actually going regular speed for me, obviously. And what I'm doing is I'm contemplating this verse. And I'm contemplating that there are all different kinds of vessels. There are those made of gold and there are those made of clay. And it doesn't matter what kind of vessel I am. I'm the one that God chose. God, God created me to be that way. And if I cleanse myself, meaning if I am following him and following his precepts and making myself available, that I will be honorable and he will use me. This particular vessel that I'm making um, is probably made out of clay. We're going to say representing me because I'm not a gold vessel for sure. Um, but I want to be available. Um, and so I'm praying that God will make me available and he will make me, he will use me and rem and point out where I can be used by him. So as I'm coloring, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. So now I'm going to cut out my vessel. All right, so I could choose to cover my background with paper. Um, we have some beautiful papers in this particular kit, as a matter of fact. So I could chose I could choose to like use this background. I put my vessel over my background, but I'm actually going to do it over white, and because I'm going to end up having enough color on my page anyway, so I'm fine with this. So here's the fun part. We're going to make this a little fun vessel filled with goodies. So, first thing we want to do is we want, I'm just using a plastic baggie just to show you that you can use literally anything. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do, and there are many, many ways to do this. Let me go ahead and just cut it in half because I don't need both sides of it anyway. So, I'm just going to cut it in half. I'll show you what we're going to do. Just cut it in half just in case I need the second half of it. The other side of it. My scissors are not very sharp. <laughs> They're on the struggle bus. There we go. So I just have half a baggie now, right? Just half a baggie. Easy breezy. And it fits my vessel right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut it down a little bit, but then I'm going to glue it on all sides but one. And I'm actually going to leave the bottom open since it's the biggest. And a matter of fact, I'm going to cut this little part out here too. Okay. I really should have taken time to get better scissors. <laughs> but here we are. Okay, so let me go ahead and get out my glue. And I'm going to glue all the sides. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Keep it bigger and then cut it down um, after you have, you know, maybe glued it down. So, there you go. There we go. That's better. Notice the bottom half is not glued. Because my baggie's a funny shaped, it's funny shaped, I have to kind of make some concessions for that, which is totally fun. Okay. It doesn't matter what the back looks like, remember, because the back is going to obviously be on your page. All right. Let me glue the top down. All right. Now, it's kind of messy, 
but again, it's going to go on my page and it's going to dry. So I'm not really worried about how messy it looks. We're going to fill it up. All right, this is not wanting to stay. Let's take this on the back. This is another thing you can do is get you some tape, regular tape, washer tape, doesn't matter what kind of tape. And let's use a little tape on the back so that way I can keep this baby down. If I were using a better material than baggy material, it would work better. I don't want that tape to show through. So I'm just putting it where the handle is. All right. All right, now we're going to fill it. So I have this, like I said, these little thingies here that are not, they just kind of were, uh, they're fun decoration for me. So I'm going to pick some that don't completely clash. Um, some a green, and I'm going to cut them up even more. So you'll see it's okay if they're not, you know, if you don't, you know, whatever you use, it's okay. Um, let's see here, maybe a yellow, a yellow, an orange, that'll work, orange is okay, I'm just pulling out some colors, alright, so for these cotton balls, I'm going to cut these up even more, so they're smaller, and then I'm going to fill it, this way with my, my open end. So let's go ahead and put like this in. We'll put this friend in. Matter of fact, I might put some in that are a little bit smaller so they'll slide down to the neck of the vessel. So let me take this, for example, and cut it into fourths. Again, sequins would work really well with this. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm just filling it up. So once it's filled, I don't love that red fluffy. I'm taking that out. Hold on. Okay. Once it's filled with your goodies, I don't love the cotton balls. They were too thick to be whole, and when I cut them up, they ended up falling apart. So I'm not going to use those. I'm just going to use these. All right, so once I have this in here, then I can close it up, glue it, or tape it. Either way, it would be quicker for me just to tape it right now for you, and you'll see what it's going to look like. Okay, so now I have my vessel, and it's got these fun little thingies in there. They're just kind of fun, and I can put this on my page. The other thing I'm going to put on the page is, of course, my scripture. So I cheated a little bit, and I cut out, I mean, I printed my scripture, and I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to look at my elements and add a couple of elements with it. Let me go ahead and add these two, two flowers. All right. Now I always place everything first. Now I feel like this needs some kind of a background. How about this? How about I use this? All 
Okay, so I think this will actually work for my page. I'm going to glue everything down. Okay, so here's my vessel. It's filled with honorable things. <laughs> And I can move these little thingies around, which is kind of fun. Again, smaller things would be more fun because you can make it like a shaker. Like you do this and it shakes all around. It's really fun. Uh, so, but use what you have. That's the cool thing. Use what you have. And then there are a couple flowers and there's here. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take my pencil uh, and I'm going to um, just give it a little more, a little more something. I'm just going to outline this verse here. Dots and lines. Okay, that just adds a little bit of an outline there. Um, let me go ahead and um, I can journal right in here. I can leave it plain. I think what I'm going to do. All right, I'm just adding an extra little element on here just because it has a blank page. I mean, it has a blank um, spot here. So it's just a little squirrely. All right, so uh, that's just sort of my way to make an interesting page that describes the theme that we're talking about. Okay, so there's my page. I have my honorable vessel um, that I am working to be. And remember that is not really on myself, but it's because of Christ on the cross um, that I'm able to even be at all pleasing to God. So I recognize that I may be a silver or gold vessel, but I may be wood or clay. Um, what I do not want to be is dishonorable. So I will cleanse myself from what is dishonorable. I will become a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy and useful to the master. So uh, we were, again, we were, for, we're talking about Deborah and Deborah was useful. JL was useful. They allowed themselves to be used. They became vessels that were honorable. And that is what I pray for myself as well. And that is the purpose of this page. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to put it in my planner and then it will be all done.